the rate of growth of the disease is such that vaccinations alone aren't going to get us out of this. So we've got to be able to be disciplined. We've got to be able to follow the rules and restrictions. And we've got to be able to keep doing the work where we've been doing for so long to get to the light at the end of that tunnel. And by the way, those people at those anti-mask protests, let's not kid ourselves. They're not people who need to eat. They are people who are marching in thinly veiled white nationalist supremacist anti-government protests, and they don't deserve that kind of sympathy. And uh, Mayor Nenshi, I know you've been frustrated with the courts for having tickets thrown out, and, and you talked about ha having the courts crack down harder. I'm wondering if you can tell us what conversations you've had and whether you feel there will be progress on that front. I certainly don't want to impinge on important principles of our democracy like prosecutorial independence. But when I hear stories like our police chief telling city council that the provincial government said, slow down on the tickets, the courts are very busy. That certainly doesn't help the women and men in the police service do their job very well. And it emboldens the protesters. So I'm really happy to hear brand new language from the province of Alberta, from the Ministry of Justice saying they're going to crack down harder. As a matter of fact, uh, the court just yesterday, late yesterday, issued a preemptive injunction against these rallies which gives us a lot more powers to go after those leaders, and I fully expect that's what will happen.